Live from the Insync Asylum. This is episode 25, I believe. And the date is March 4th, 2022. Uh, this is your host, Paul Kitchen. And how are you guys doing? Um, <clears throat> as is becoming a pattern with me, I usually release a new album and I do a podcast and promise a series of podcasts and that doesn't happen. And then I disappear for a while, and then I release a new album and do one podcast. Uh, I'm going to try to do better than that this time around. Uh, But uh, I think the last time I did a podcast, I had just finished up uh, releasing um, Trip Note Volume 4. And... uh, just to confuse things a little bit, let's start the show off today with something from Trip Note Volume 3. This is Put Your Love in My Hands. The strangest feeling, but it's understood if I want you Better speak my mind It's been coming on Guess today is the day To shake these blues and not turn away Cause I want you Girl, to be your mind I'll turn a flame
her back. Uh, that was, put your love in my hands. That was the one I released as a single prior to uh, the Trip Note albums coming out. And um, if you go back to the first time that that song showed up, it was on And We Dream. And when I originally gave that album out to friends and uh, or to you know record people hoping that they might like what I do um, that was the version on the album man we dream uh, but many years later when I re-released it and the one that's up there now on the streaming channels um, is the one I worked on the most it almost sounds like a Phil Collins or a Genesis kind of version, the, the poppy Genesis uh, version of that tune. And I put that back on uh, when I remastered it and put it out a few years back. So uh, this is the, uh, the alternate version of Put Your Love in My Hands from 1993 when I wrote it. And uh, here we are, we're back. In the present, and uh, like I said, I usually don't do podcasts uh, unless I did a new album, and I recently put out a new album uh, called Black and Gray, and it's live from the Insync Asylum Volume 2. And um, live from the Insync Asylum, the concept uh, started during the pandemic in early uh, 2020 when everybody started performing from their bedrooms and houses and basements and studios and stuff. And me, not having performed for 30 plus years, thought it was a good, uh, good opportunity to um, shake the rust off a little bit and try to revisit some older tunes, which I did uh, through the summer and the spring of, uh, I can't remember how late it went on to, but it was 2020. And uh, I recorded that in Studio V. Uh, and I always hoped that I would uh, maybe do another one, uh, but this time maybe in Studio B. And uh pandemic kind of delayed that for quite a while. So almost two years later, I finally found myself up north and said, uh, and I wanted to do something uh, that wasn't necessarily new material, but it was new to me. So I decided to do that and uh, and as it started I really realized that I wanted to really focus on a really stripped down uh, not acoustic I thought originally it might uh, go that direction the first one I did was uh, sign of the times acoustic and I thought that that was the direction it would go it would be just an acoustic uh, album and um, and I had found myself up north with basically none of my guitars and uh, I ordered a factory second uh, from the Amazon warehouse of a Yamaha uh, acoustic FG830 and um, tuned it up and started using it. Uh, and later I ordered a, uh, I kept reading about these IYV Enyan Vena guitars and then ordered their kind of tele copy the one that has a f hole in it and i think i paid just under 125 dollars for it and did the same thing with that i tuned it up plugged it in and started using it and i did this whole album black and gray um, with those two guitars and um, as i started i thought it was going to be really stripped down acoustic but then i realized i'd, I'd you know it's not necessarily way I do things and so I started to flesh it out a little bit but I really wanted to keep it really laid back toned down so it is pretty strip, stripped down and uh, I love the album it's, it's kind of a set of songs that all are kind of from a darker place that some of my songs go to and uh, it, it, it certainly fits that mood, and when you're in that mood, it's a great album for that. And the uh, uh, first song we're going to play off that album tonight is uh, You're Still My Baby Tonight. And uh, that first appeared also uh, around the 
same time as Put Your Love in My Hands on the album Man We Dream, I wrote that after the first Gulf War. And I uh, later re-recorded it around 99, 2000 for the album A Matter of Time. And that's the one you, the version you most likely hear online because I did a video of it way back when. Um, and I recently redid that video um, to be a little bit more the modern day HD uh, 1080, well, 1920 by 1080. Um, and oddly enough, the day I finished it, uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. And, you know, the, the gist of the song is just the effect on the families and the parents and the children, you know, and you know, obviously the soldiers, men and women, and the effect. And that, that goes around. So right now it's happening all over again, and it's certainly happening to the Ukrainians, but it's also happening to the Russian kids that are being forced to go over there and do that. It's a, it's a damn shame. And, uh, you know, I wish it would stop today, but, uh, you know, the news is today, uh, they, you know, the Russia just took over a nuclear power plant and, um, it makes me go back to the song I wrote years ago, civilized man, you know, that was inspired by Chernobyl. So, and you know, here we are, and some things just keep popping up, and I guess they always will, as long as we're walking the earth. But uh, really sorry about what's going on in Ukraine, and wish them all the best, and I hope it stops very quickly. But here's the song, You're Still My Baby Tonight, uh, which is uh, pretty much uh, explains itself pretty, uh, particularly if you watch the video, you'll you'll certainly understand the feeling of it. Uh, check it out.
something guides my hand and makes me write it down. Only time will tell if I can live this down, but life somehow goes on and I write another song. Cause you're still my baby tonight. I hear that song And I sing it all night long You're still my baby You're still my baby Tonight You're still my baby You're still my baby still my baby you still my baby tonight you still my baby you still my baby you still my baby you still my baby tonight Okay, and we're back. And that was uh, You're Still My Baby Tonight from the new album Black and Gray, which just came out at the, uh, near the end of February. And I hope you uh, check that album out. I, I love the album and I'm uh, very proud of it. Um, next up, um, and f- for these podcasts that I hopefully will be doing here, I'm going to focus on... But first, a word from our sponsor. Thank you for listening to Live from the Insync Asylum, brought to you by Starfish Real Estate in Vero Beach, Florida, helping buyers and sellers 13 years now. Visit livinginvero.com for more info and visit paulkitchen.com for more music. amount of stuff I released um, since I guess what December uh, 2020 or so I mean but uh, in the last you know two three years I have released a ton of stuff and uh, this is off the album Pot Shots from Over the Hill which came out in December of 2020 and this tune, somewhere along the line, uh, was originally written in around 1988 and was on a collection of songs called In a Blue Night. Uh, and a lot of these unreleased collections of songs, albums, that I used to call them, uh, are on the four sets of uh, Trip Note, which is approximately eight albums worth of stuff. So there's a ton of stuff in there that has never been released uh, and actually the, the original version from 1988 of somewhere along the line is not part of Trip Note uh, because I had just uh, revisited it and put it on Pot Shots from Over the Hill. And this is kind of an updated version. I took the original multi-track and added to it, subtracted from it, and I came up with this version of somewhere along the line. Check it out.
Uh, that was somewhere along the line from the 2020 album Pot Shots from Over the Hill. Uh, and if you haven't heard that album, please check it out. I think it's one of my better albums uh, just because it pulls together a bunch of songs and I kind of upgraded them and updated them for the, the moment. So they sound sonically a little bit better and uh, I love that record. Uh, check it out. Uh, while we're on... Uh, the business of uh, stuff that was on Trip Note and re-released. Let's do another song from Volume Three of Trip Note, and this one's called "Loaded Question," and it was originally uh, written, recorded around 1985, and it was from a collection of songs called "Inner Dialogues." Check it out.
That was Loaded Question. That was recorded somewhere between December and February, uh, December 84 and February of 1985. That was recorded at uh, the NSYNC Asylum Studio B. And um, it was remixed, remastered, and put out on Trip Note Volume 3 in 2021 and I hope you check out all the trip notes there's a lot of stuff there um, and we'll get back to the new album now but first a word from our sponsor thank you for listening to live from the NSYNC Asylum brought to you by Starfish Real Estate in Vero Beach, Florida, helping buyers and sellers 13 years now. Visit livinginvero.com for more info and visit paulkitchen.com for more music. And one of the tracks that I ended up choosing to do, uh, the process, would I, would, would I pick a song and uh, I would record it and then to say what's next and so at some point I was looking through some of my old stuff and said oh it might be interesting to do this song called It Can Happen to You which is on a collection of songs from 1982 called Silent Tears and uh, I did not re include this on any of the trip note stuff so this is only available here on the podcast check this out this is the 1982 version of it can happen to you. It was the lead off track. And on social media in a couple of places, I've shared uh, the album cover, which was just a green piece of paper. And I typed, I typed it on there, you know, the songs and the links and whatever. If you go on social media, you see a couple of photographs of that, uh, that time. 
Also, if you look at the single of here, which uh, I released prior to album one of uh, Trip Note, uh, that photograph is of me from around that time, 1982. And uh, I discussed that at the end of um, one of those videos for, for this new album that are up on YouTube. Um, 1982, and uh, I had a couple Epiphone guitars that I had picked up from some warehouse somewhere. They were both broken in some way or another, but I kept them and, you know, figured out how to play them for the most part. But anyway, this is uh, from that time, 1982, It Can Happen to You, from the collection of songs, Silent Tears. Check it out.
and that was It Can Happen to You from a collection of songs called Silent Tears. Now, let me look here and tell you what year, I mean, what, uh, if I have that info. Well, the album was finished and released um, to, my, to my friends, basically, on cassette uh, way back when. Uh, July 17th, 1982. And it was recorded April 10th, 82 through July 17th. So I'm going to finish up the show here uh, with the new version that I just redid. Um, and I didn't have any basic tracks to work off of here from the past, so I, I just started from scratch on this one. And this is from 2022. Uh, this is It Can Happen to You from the new album, Black and Gray.
that's going to have to about do it. Uh, that was It Can Happen to You from the new album Black and Gray. Um, I hope you check the new album out. I did share the recordings of all the songs as I went along, and uh, you can view those on my um, YouTube channel. Uh, the album is slightly modified in spots, particularly some songs where I had to do some heavy-duty cleaning up, like uh, Waiting to Fly, uh, where the guitar acoustics were just so squeaky and noisy, and oh my God. I didn't really get into the details about that here on this uh, podcast, but if you want to understand uh, some of what was involved with recording that album on my YouTube channel, there is a update, a black and gray update. It's a good 20 minute ramble uh, about the album, which uh, I try to just do these things so I can remember in detail as things are falling out of my head every day. Uh, but anyway, black and gray, it's streaming everywhere. You can get it and purchase it on Apple Music and better yet on Bandcamp, where I might actually make a couple bucks. But other than that, I just want people to hear it. And if you like it, please share it with your friends. Uh, but that's it. We will see you soon. Uh, this is episode 25 of Live from the Insync Asylum. Take care of yourself and uh, talk to you soon. Sink Asylum, brought to you by Starfish Real Estate in Vero Beach, Florida, helping buyers and sellers for 11 years now. Visit livinginvero.com for more info, and also visit paulkitchen.com for more music.